Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're playing E4 more. Uh, we are... Right now, I'm um, gonna go siege out England again. We're trying to create colonial nation over in Columbia region. Because reasons. He's too slow to actually stop us from landing troops here, which is kind of funny. Xion is going to siege down London for us, because he's the man. All marriage from Scotland's fine. Uh, we were looking around between episodes a little bit, and I think we're totally fine on election, because in... Now, basically, there's not even a tooltip saying when it expires. This is expiring, like, right now. Bam. We now have three more Diplo Rep, which means... Liege nearly wants to vote for us. So, now we just have to cross our fingers that Bavaria dies, and then we will be the new crown prince, emperor, man, people of this empire. We've got 17 day siege ticks against England. Vassalize Bavaria to force it now? We could, assuming that we had Assuming that there's no way, like, the other people... Yeah, should probably do it now. I mean, he's 55, right? 56. It's more aggressive expansion, and it's another relationship we have to cancel, but... As far as I know, forced vassalization is probably the only way we can force him to no longer be a valid emperor. We can't force his religion off, because we're Protestant. Can you guys think of any other way to, to force him stop being the Emperor? You guys remember when I was doing the discussion about ID groups? And you're like, well, naval's good, it can win wars, sometimes it's good. Yeah, see how, how effective his navy was right there? <laughs> Just buried like 80,000 troops onto his land, just because we have military uh, access in France. We are starting to pick up some kind of... Kind of a lot of... War exhaustion monthly because of Call for Pizza. We take admin tech early. 29 more days until the innovativeness is no longer available. That's a bit too much of an ahead of time penalty for this to make sense, but I'm being lazy now, and we just don't care. Pizza's, pizza Punce is calling? I'm hungry, I want pizza. Pizza's, pizza's calling? Who's calling? Need food. Hungry. What? Port Rebels in Bavaria? Alright, so it's gonna take a little bit of work to get this guy to agree. Oh, call for pizza. I get it now. Sorry. Oh, Silesia's in the war. When did that happen? I guess we didn't need to send all these armies over. Xion is not doing a very good job of finishing London. I say, and then he finishes the Siege of London. Good job, Xion. Hey, does anyone know of a good lawn mower <laughs> that lives in my city? Because I need someone to mow my lawn. I just got another stupid notification saying that homeowners associations mad at me about a lawn violation. I'm not. I'm not cutting my weeds properly. They don't like how my weeds look. Because let's face it, grass is just weed. It's just a weed. It's just a weed that looks less ugly than other weeds, but it's still just a weed. Like, why do we do lawn? Why do, I mean, lawns are dumb. I don't like them. It just seems so... stupid. Alright, we can already get him to agree, but he's not on low enthusiasm yet. You should knock out Silesia. 
You 100% agree that lawns are dumb? Good. Get active and then vote out. You mean like I should I should do like one of these things, basically? We should take over their empire and make a new one with blackjack and hookers. Okay, call for pizza is up to 2.5 war exhaustion already. Um, favors with France is at 9, so if we just white piece Brabant, we'll get a favor. And then we could probably call France into some other BS war. But to do that, we need to make sure that we win this war with England now, because we need to be at peace. Call France into another war. Once again, for some reason, uh, oh, I know what it is. It's because he didn't have a trade lead. He didn't have a colonial nation last time, and now he does. So because he's receiving trade power, we can't demand his trade power. We're just incapable of demanding England's trade power now. Well, that sucks. Let's just try to get money from him. Can I just vassalize the Homeowners Association? I'm not really sure exactly how the Homeowners Association mechanics work. I'd have to study up on the wiki and see if... Maybe there's some sort of... I don't know, mean time to happen event or something that I could use to... You know, beat them. Ouch. We're really, really hurting for manpower again. I hate having to slacken. We're, we're not making any gains on our professionalism lately. Too much war. Too much war, not enough love. He should be willing to agree really soon. If that fort would fall, for example. Oh, look at this fancy guy using forced march. He's all like, look at me, my Abintech 15, I'm so fancy. Take the fort, take the fort. Darn it. We probably don't have enough artillery here, and we have one of our worst siege leaders here. We do not have good siege leaders. What the hell, Sean? All right, this is unacceptable. We need better siege leaders. I don't want to peace out Brabant right this second because I just I know France is itching to declare his own war. What we should probably do is ignore these artillery that are trying to reinforce, group up the army, shift consolidate, and try to pick off the ten stacks like we did in the previous war with England. Just a couple quick pickoffs, a couple quick stack wipes, or that win yeah, winning that siege. That might do it. We're one reason away now. Okay, so Wurttemberg Ansbach was kind of a fail. Now we just peace out with you in a way that gives us a single favor with France. If we demand war reps, we don't get it, but if we just take money, he gets his share of the money and then we gain a favor. Which should put us at 10, at least. Good. So if we need to, we can declare another BS war. We have a CBN Cleaves. Cleaves is inside the Empire. We're still not technically in the Imbia. In, in little that words. All the words just failed. We could either wait for him to die, age 57, or we could go force vassalize him and uh, 
we could get get it done right now. Apparently Scotland's two reasons away from accepting when we don't have... We could get a Diplo Rep guy right now, he would do it. We also have, you know, casual 14,000 gold, so... I guess, like, build things. Colonial war against Spain. One day later, France declares war upon England. <sighs> Alright. Are we gonna squirrel that? I mean, we know eventually we're gonna be enemies with France. Do we even need to worry about this? I just don't want him to take the clay that I want. Upgrade center of trade. I mean, it'll only... yeah, the, the, the technique only works for so long. Why are we not taking clay now? Because we're revoking the Privilegia. Any clay we take is kind of pointless. It's all going to be our land anyway. I just know that he is going to cause issues, right? He controls one, two, three, four, five provinces inside the Empire, and uh, that's not okay. That's going to make it difficult for us to pass reforms. Cut him off? England was a non-cold belligerent in that war. And besides, even if we took, like, a string straight across, he'd still want this land and take it. Yeah. Alright, let's just move on. We're going to have to betray him at some point anyway. So, all those in favor of force vassalizing Bavaria to trigger it right now, versus those in favor of just don't do that, and instead wait for him to die. We create a poll, actual proper poll. Casual 2,000 ducats. Take the land, trigger the succession, and win. You guys think we should? Wait a couple months. We do have war exhaustion from that call for pizza. And we've been, like, really, really tapping into our... our stuff. Our professionalism, so... I like to just sit and drill for a while. The Pope just insulted me. A bold move. Can't revoke vassal during truce. True, but don't worry. I have a way. There's a method we can use. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little face. Are we the peasant emperor? Well, we're we're a monarchy now, but we're almost the emperor. We have we have the election on lock. So we really just kind of need them to, you know, do it. Negative two reasons away. Let's keep fishing for a Diplo Rep Advisor. We're going to have to fire our half-price level 5 guy, but 
Um, that's okay. Looming disaster, plutocratic coup. Damn it. I just granted them a province and now they're going to cause issues? That's so annoying. Jerks. Yeah, there's a disaster, but there's always time. Uh, let's improve relations with people who are outraged. I think at least until we um, get our aggressive or uh, war exhaustion to zero, we should just stay at peace on the off chance Bavaria dies. But if he doesn't die, then we'll go attack him and force vassalize him. Isabella, Clara, Eugenia. Okay. Isabella Clara Eugenia von Habsburg of Castilian heritage. Von Habsburg? Huh. Emo's camp emperor? I can't remember now. I think that I think in this campaign the Austrians wasn't it this campaign where the Austrians had to trigger the uh I think they had a female error right at the start of the campaign they had to do that with. It would be really nice to have the strong claim instead of a weak claim, because if we die right now we lose like 80 legitimacy. But no, I think we'll just take the monarch points. A skill to 50% improved relations advisor. We'd love to to hire this person after word. Hey, Diplo Rep, sweet. That's awesome. That means we should be able to vassalize Mr. Scotland. Except that he's at war. In the French conquest of London. He joined. Pole is tied. Hmm. The cost to export these people is really high. Way cheaper when you're Portugal. The poll is definitely not in favor of Bavarian shenanigans. We're already using three colonies, which is more than we're supposed to have. Um... I mean, if Bavaria wasn't already 58, I'd be very inclined to, to go force this, this vote. But because he's over 50, there's a small chance. I don't know what the chance is, but it's not great that he would live, like, to age 70 or something. Probably shouldn't have given them Friesland. That is not an estuary either, but it had cloth. No, nope. it's just a mistake. I didn't realize they were going to go so influential. Shouldn't have granted them that province. Never. Lost another relationship slot. However, we were 
We have nine out of eight relations. We have a lot of relationships. I think we actually have nine out of seven now. That's all right. We were going to integrate Norway, but we want to hold off on that, I think, now until after... Are you kidding me? You goddamn burgers! I will revoke all of your shit. <laughs> Reverse Brexit? This is like us. Yeah, we're forcing our way into the into the uh, into the, the union or whatever. We want in. Let us in. No, we are not a Dutch republic. We are a Dutch monarchy. We're a Dutch kingdom. We're glorious. We want in. Let us be the emperor, please. Stop revolting, you stupid burgers. Pissing me off. They're they're so mad that I'm just gonna I'm gonna revoke every goddamn province they own. <laughs> this is what they want to do. It's fine here. It's fuck, fuck off, bastards. I mean, when they're already at 0%, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of having fun with it, but when they're at 0% loyalty, this is actually a pretty reasonable thing to do. You're effectively losing none. Uh, okay. Stuff change, whatever. We're effectively losing nothing, so... Xion. And then if we, we revoke all of it and then immediately turn around and just give it back, then suddenly the burgers will have loyalty that they didn't otherwise have, you know? And there is negative, what, five unrest? God, look at this cleaves. That's pretty damn impressive cleaves, I agree. Okay, Emperor dies today, we become the Emperor. Uh, we know we're over the limit. We know we need a leader. I am not going to worry about states. Ms. Mullen, the grass... If there's like this guy that like mows the lawn for the subdivision, he won't mow my lawn, but he mows the lawn right in like the grass, like right next to my grass. Part of me wants to be like, hey, yo, like I'll give you some money. Would you just like mow a little extra? <laughs> All right, our air swamp thing is calm. Swamp thing de Regenar. <laughs> All right, it's funny. Focus on Diplo. It's true, we're not going to be doing admin for a while. Um, it's either dip or mill. I think that for the next idea, we're, we are probably going to want to still go diplomatic, even though we're already going to be the emperor. It's either that, or we could go quantity. Sorry, uh, sorry, go quality. Because we want the innovative, uh, the combat ability, or even aristocratic. It's not too late for aristocratic. Trade would also work, or heck, even exploration at this point would be okay, just for the extra colonists and global settlers and twenty-five percent force limit. And the policy is quite solid. We still don't have a Diplo policy. That's what's embarrassing. You lose more Diplo now? No, we generate more we generate more Diplo than we generate mill. We're weakest on mill over the next period of time, so. I think we need Diplo though, because we need to get a Diplo policy. So let's just focus Diplo. I don't think we're even close to the next ID group though. It's not until 18. We've got like 32 years or 30. 29 years, something like that. Could the Emperor, like, please stand up and die? 
Okay, we got Settle in North America. Eight Swellendam or Graf Renet. Hmm. All three that I need for this are owned right now. I suppose we should probably go to war with Portugal at some point. But again, uh, our manpower situation is not great, and uh, we've lost professionalism lately. Ottomans have declared war upon Hungary. Hungary is Protestant. We're the defender of the Protestant faith. We could just say no. We only lose one diplo rep. I don't think that's going to cost us the election. So our ally just attacked, and now we're, we're being forced to either lose our alliance or lose one diplo rep. I think I know what I would choose. What would you choose? Sorry. <laughs> Rip Hungary. <laughs> it's fine, we still have the vote, so... If we were the Emperor right now, we would be gaining 0.01 Imperial Authority a month, because we can get rid of the three free cities. I need the Emperor to die. He's 60 now. Can I still sell shit to the Ottomans? We haven't done any kind of Thierry in a long time. I don't think we really need to. We have 14k gold. I'm not really worried about money anymore. I probably should spend it on stuff. We've already been building many factories where we've, wherever we can. Um, the Bavarian dude will not die until he's... Until he's 80? Why? Because he's a Von Wittelsbach? Going for the die, die, die achievement? No, he's he's a 415. He's not bad stats. All right, France. Taking London. I knew we couldn't be friends. Not for long. Did I actually revoke this last province from them? I did. So the burgers are, like, still pretty bad. We, we could go revoke this left down here, but I don't want to. Spain arrival? Not right now. We have a rival slot open. Scotland will no longer steer trade toward us. Are you at peace? Oh shoot, he got land back in the war. Now he doesn't want to do it. Curse you, Scotland. Dutch economic base, minus 72. So they've really, they really borked this up. Scotland's got 62 dev, so he's feeling all high and mighty with his massive four damn ducats of income. We make, whatever that is, 50 times his income? 55 times 4, 20, yeah. 50 times his income. But he's like, nah, dog, I'm too strong now. <laughs> we are not taking royal marriages with these guys. Temporary relations. I feel like speed 4... Slash five, just waiting for Bavaria to die is the way to go. He's occupied by the Ottomans because he defended a guy. I think we were at max prestige there, that was a mistake.
100 Diplo power and a discounted Flemish Protestant production efficiency guy. Okay. We'll have to upgrade him to level 5 again, but I do think he's better than National Trade Guy. And uh, we have Diplo Rep Guy, that's okay. Mill Guy, we should probably upgrade to level 5 at this point. Yeah, we're like real close to the Diplo Point cap based on that. Um, I think we'll stick with Mercantilism. We're at 62% now. It's not too too many though, because I think... No, no, it doesn't matter. We have, we have so much time until we actually take the next tech... Next ID group. This is the type of thing that makes me want to play the Beyond Typus common universe, or yeah, Beyond Typus again. I feel like you don't get ID groups often enough in, in this game. I want them more. I guess we were supposed to take Diplotech, weren't we? Whoops. Good thing we're focusing in the right place, huh? It's fun getting bonuses. Yeah, I agree. Okay, Bavaria, you just peaced out with one person, so could you go celebrate by dying? Go die. Just go die in a fire. I want pizza again. I'm gonna get so fat. Next time anyone sees me in real life, I'm gonna be freaking huge. Why mercantilism? That messes up colony liberty desire? If you have difficulty keeping your colonial nations under control, then you're doing something wrong. They are stupid easy to keep under control. In fact, I can't remember a single time in six years of playing this game. Hey! Six years of playing this game that I have ever had a single colonial nation cause issues. Austria has unlawful territory, you son of a bitch! Alright, so we're the Emperor. Alright, probably gotta take a break here. We're at 32 minutes already, but this is a great spot because we're the Emperor. Let's go ahead and uh, consider if we were to add all of our land to the Empire, could we pass a reform right now? We've got... Em doesn't actually show the Empire really well now, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, that's part of the empire. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. We could add twenty-five provinces to the empire. Twenty-five imperial authority. Until we um, cancel these relations, there's no point in doing it because it's just going to decay. How hard was it to get emperorship? Well, you could just watch. We just did it. We did it today. It's pretty easy. Did I miscount? Was it 26? Did you did you count this one though? Because this was already part of the empire. And this one was too. Okay. I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. See you soon.